here I am with 30 days since my last ejaculation. So 30 days of semen retention. Mm. Thanks be to God. This feeling of gratitude is profound as I reflect upon it. And what progress can be made along the semen retention journey, I have discovered to be rather well described by the esoteric philosopher of the 20th century, George Gurdjieff. His life spanned the 19th and 20th centuries. He passed away in 1949. He's really quite funny and not easy to read at all. Much more difficult to read with understanding. But in his works, he does explicitly share a three-step formula, one, two, three, by which a man can make progress towards and even obtain, I suppose, Gurdjieff believed, spiritual perfection. He says that the three elements in order are semen retention, conscious labor, intentional suffering. That would be Gurdjieff recapitulating his understanding of the classical ideal of spiritual progress, which must progress from the realm of the body, the somatic, to the realm of the noose, the noetic, to the realm of the heart, the affective, the insensitive, the fervent power. So the body, we begin there. For a man, that means to retain his semen. Whatever is necessary to achieve it, the procedure must end up with a result that a man's semen stays inside of his body and is not ejaculated. Then in that state, Gurdjieff says, if one is to aim at or obtain spiritual perfection, then conscious labor must be added to that, and then intentional suffering. So we have a life of joy, a life of peace, and a life of love. And that's the order to which semen retention, conscious labor, and intentional suffering correlate. So in the domain of intentional suffering for me, my favorite practice is almsgiving, which means, as I understand it, to give money to the poor and to give money to spiritual work. So that means I'm taking money, which is money to which I have the right, quote unquote, money which is mine, quote unquote, or money that was given to me by God. And then instead of using it, to buy something for myself or to trade for my own betterment, I instead trade for my own betterment by sacrificing that money, giving it to someone who is in need, a poor person, or to some form of spiritual work, to some individual organization or institution that carries on what I consider to be good spiritual work and spiritual work that feeds me. So that is an intentional suffering. And then working backwards now to the noetic realm, conscious labor. As I understand it, Gurdjieff means by that, any work which is done with conscious attention, which means that the noetic realm, that intellective, intelligent, intelligible, noetic power of us, is sufficiently peaceful as to focus, such that a man can begin to labor consciously. My favorite such labor is that of prayer, which is, of course, a noetic work by definition and is what I consider to be my chief occupation of each and every day. And then going to the first 
Step once again, semen retention, which is obviously somatic in nature. I have discovered that fasting regularly enables the maintenance of semen retention like nothing else, as does the rigorous commingling of this state of semen retention with conscious labor and intentional suffering. And I now theorize, or I hypothesize, would be more honest, that to preserve the state of semen retention, that state must be sufficiently wedded to or combined with both conscious labor and intentional suffering of the right degree and of the right quality. So I've been endeavoring to live my life according to this protocol, this protocol I've learned from Gurdjieff, but also have witnessed to be capitulated and recapitulated down through the millennia of spiritual teaching. And I believe that I've tapped into some universal aspects of what is happening here with semen retention and being able to make progress in that state. So it's not only a question of how many days since the last ejaculation, it's now also a question of how is that time in which my body is in a continent state or a state of retaining my semen, how is that time being used? Is it being devoted to prayer and almsgiving and to other works that can be attended to consciously with loving attention and to other forms of sacrifice which are taken on voluntarily to express love? Which is to say, what is the degree to which love, joy, and peace are the characteristics of my life on a daily basis in what is the extent to which I'm leaning into the practical instantiation of cultivation of those virtues. So that's where I am today. Once again, thanks be to God for 30 days of semen retention, 30 blessed, joyful days, 30 peaceful days, 30 beautiful days. And may I be of service to others. If you happen to have a question or a comment or thoughts that this video has provoked, please do feel free to leave a comment of any kind that you wish to leave or feel inspired to leave. And thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. And if you want to be informed of when the next one's up, please do subscribe and also share this content around if it's been of use to you. Thanks a lot for watching once again. Bye now.